Hello all. In this particular tutorial, I'll be talking about how to duplicate Oracle Database 19C to another server and I'll be using RMAN Active Duplication for this particular tutorial. RMAN Active Duplication allows you to duplicate your database without transferring the backup files from source server to destination server. There are disadvantages of this particular method that there will be a constant read of your source database while the duplication is happening so your source database will be under the performance load so uh, you need to keep that in my mind but if you do not if the database size is big the database uh, files like it is very big database and you do not have enough space to take the backup transfer it to the, on the target server then you can use this particular method and this particular method works fine. We will be using Oracle Database 19C to do this and the method is RMAN Active Duplication. On this, I have got a database Oracle 19A. It's an ASM database. You can use a non-ASM database. So the steps mentioned here will work seamlessly on the non-ASM database as well. You do not have to do any changes if the database is non-ASM. These particular steps will work on both ASM and non-ASM database. So the database name that I want to duplicate is Aura 19A. And remember that I will be using the same name on the target server. So I'll not change the database name, etc. I'll be using the same name. So on the source server, you'll create a P file. The, that if you do not already have it, if you already have it, you can use that particular P file. If you do not have the P file, create the P file using this particular command. And then you transfer that P file to the destination server and you transfer the uh, password file to the destination server. We have to do only these three steps on the source server, the, the database, uh, the server where your source copy or the source database is hosted, you, we have to do only three steps. Once these three steps are done, you can safely log off from your source server and you can move to your target server. On your target server, we'll add an entry in etc or a type file. So the, this is the database name and I'm adding an entry in etc or a type. Then we will verify that the P file and password file that we sent from the source one, the source that server one, the source database, we have received them. So we'll verify those two files. We'll also make sure that we'll create necessary directories such as the admin uh, audit dash files, the trace dump, etc. Then we will be setting the TNS entry. This is the most important part, the TNS entry. The here, what I'm saying, this is the database that I will be cloning. Sorry, this is the database that I'll be cloning. And the name of the TNS entry for that is the source. And this is hosted on DB1, while I'll be restoring the this particular database on host DB2. So from DB1, I'll be restoring it onto DB2 using ARM and active duplication. So this is the most important part. Once you have set your TNS entry using the TNS ping command, you will verify that that entry is working fine. It's getting resolved. Then you will start your database in no mount mode. Then you will connect to the RMAN session. And here you will use the TNS entry the, of the source database. And auxiliary is the one which you are going to restore. The auxiliary concept comes in the active duplication where you are going to restore your source database. And we will use only one single command duplicate database. This is the single command that we are going to from active database. So this is the only one command that we need to run. And once that is done, we will verify, we'll connect to the source server, run this query, we'll connect to the target server, we'll run this query and we'll verify that our restore is working fine. So without wasting my time, your time, I'm going to start the tutorial. So let me connect to the source server. So on the source server, as I mentioned that I have a database called Aura 19A, let me uh, go to Oracle home slash dbs and verify that whether I have the init file. So let me verify if I have the init file for this particular database and looks like I do not have. So let me connect to this particular database as sysdba and create the p file from sp file. So let me run that particular command from this particular document. So let's do that. So I've done that exit. What, what the the p file has been created now if i verify then as you can see a p file got created at 709 the time in my watch is 709 am 
so the p file got generated so that's good the next thing that we will be doing is transferring the p file so let's transfer the p file so before doing that let's go to the second location second uh, server and verify that we have the p file ls minus l you can see i do not have the p file so let me transfer the p file so that's done let me also transfer the password file that's done our work on the source server is done and let's verify we got the init order file and we got the password file so we got both the files our work on the source server is done we can safely exit from the source server and now we are we have logged into the target server the db2 let's verify let me connect one more session to this particular server the second host which is db2 the first host is db1 so now as i mentioned this particular database is in asm so let's go to the asm and verify whether we have any uh, any the data files or you know uh, the control files in the asm let's verify that and as you can see apart from asm i do not have any data file or control file let's keep that in mind so we nothing is there let's verify in our etc order tab if we have any entry so looks like there is no entry so let's do one thing tail and you can see there is the end only entry for the asm instance and let's verify if there is any pmon process and only asm pmon process is running so that's good the first tip thing that we need to do is we need to edit our as etc or our tab so let's do that let's go to the down and add an entry for the database that we are going to restore so first thing that we are going to do is add an entry for this particular database in etc or our tab that's done once that is done we will now go to this which we have already done but let's do that so we have got init file and the password file so that's done we'll create some directories let's we'll create some directories so let's do that copy and apart from one of the directory looks like everything is fine the that directory already exists so it's got failed but rest all directory got cleared so let me uh, got created so that's good so the next thing that we are going to do is add an tns entry so let me go to oracle home under oracle home network under network admin let's see if we have a tns file and we do not have the tns file so let's create one and add an entry for the source database in the tns files tns dot tns names dot order file so that's done verify that the tns entry is working so cat tns names we have created this particular file tns pink take this name and verify and looks like we got the response so that entry is working fine so that is good the next thing that we are going to do so the tns thing is done so now the we have to start our database into no mount mode so let's try to do that so aura 198 this is the database i'm going to restore so uh, sql plus as sysdba and i'm going to try to start this database in no mount mode and let's see if it starts let's give it a minute for it to start okay so we got some error okay so cannot be translated it looks like that directly okay let's fix that so uh, let's go to the the location where our init file is there get init grab minus i this particular location so this i think this particular location does not exist so let's create that that's done clear the screen connect as sql plus sysdba and start the database in no mount mode let's see if it starts or whether we get more error if we get more errors we need to fix them so let's give it a minute and see if our instance starts once the instance is started i'm going to connect to the rman session the the target database is the source database the auxiliary database is the database that we are going to restore so let's 
copy this and wait okay the instance so we did not had any error and instance is started in the no mod mode so that's good let's do that and let's ping here okay and you see the target database is in the open mode it's in the re read write mode and the the auxiliary instance is not mounted because we started that particular instance in no mod mode so that's that looks good so now that we have connected to our main session so this is our final step where we are going to do the duplicate of our database so let's take this command and paste it and if this particular command works if this duplication works then we should have our database cloned to the target server from db1 server from db1 to db2 so that would be done so while that is doing uh, let me show it to you so the uh, duplicate is running here and while that is running so let me show it to you if we have any directory so we should not have a directory with other 19a the database is going to get restored here so because on the source it is in this particular path so let's wait for it so it has started and first thing that is going to do is it's going to restore the control files so let's see if the control once the control files are restored then it's going to mount the database and then it's going to restore the data files the redo log files etc then it's going to do the media recovery and once the media recovery is completed it's going to open the database so let's give it a minute and let's see if it restores the control file uh, once the control file is restored it will move the, to the data file so i am watching the screen right now for the restore to happen so i'm watching this particular screen it's shut down it will start it, it, it's it's internally going to do a lot of steps so it, the most important thing is you you if there is any error then only you have to look at this but if there are no errors then probably everything is going to work fine so yes the first step is restore control file so now let's wait see here and you can see there was only one directory asm the second directory has appeared so let me go to that particular location ls minus l and as you can see the control file got restored and now it, is, it has started restoring the data files so the first it is doing the system dbf so the data the let me go to this particular location and it should so the system got restored the next one is the sysox then the then the other undo table space and the users table space so that's done all of the files got restored okay and then it's going to start the media recovery so while it is doing this i want to highlight a particular point that your database source database should be in archive log mode if it is in no archive log then probably the active duplication is going to fail so now it's going to do the media recovery and once the media recovery is completed i think it's already done that it's going to finally open the database in reset logs mode so let's give it a minute and while it is doing that what i will do is like i will try to connect to this particular database so let's disconnect so let's try doing that so let me disconnect let me disconnect okay so i'm going to connect to the source database so this is the source database so let me connect to that source database so while the restore was happening so let's go to the last tab and run these two queries so this is the source database let me format this this is the source database and the source database i'll pull it up the source database aura 19a that's the instance name hosted on db1 and that particular database is created on 25th november it's in the read write mode open let's see if we can connect to the target database so i'll show you the properties of this it is pointing to hostname db1 so let me sh show you the properties of this and it is pointing to db2 so let's do this okay save it and let's connect it let's try to connect to this if the restore completed so finish duplicate so this looks like it has uh, finished the duplicate let's see ps minus ef grep pmon and yes we have aura 19a but looks like we have a issue we cannot connect it's like listener is not knowing the this one so let's try to fix it clear or a asm yes 
LHNR CTL status and okay so the listener supports no services so looks like that instance did not get registered with our listener so let's do one thing let's fix this so let's go to this particular location vi okay and add an entry in this particular file we are going to do the static registration so let's add an entry the sid list listener so for this i am adding an entry for aura 19a so i'm going to do that so let's do that and now what i'll do lsnr ctl stop lsnr ctl start so yes we got aura 19a now let's try to connect to it and if the connection yes looks like the connection came and now what i'll do is i'll run the same query and as you can see the aura 19a is now on db2 this was on db1 so you can see we have successfully restored our database and this database it was created on 25th november this database is created on 2nd december and today's date is 2nd december and this database is in read write mode it's in it's open and read write mode so the restore has got completed successfully so the only only one command that we ran to restore was this this particular command we were able to restore our database or clone our database from the source server to the target server we open the database in no mount mode and the only most important thing is the tns entry so the tns entry for the source and that we have to mention in the target the auxiliary is one which we restored and we need to take the copy of the p file and the password file with this particular tutorial we learned how to duplicate your database to another server from using uh, using the rman active duplicate command and we did this particular tutorial on oracle 19c as you can see the version is 19.0 for the target server as well as for the source server i hope this particular tutorial was useful thank you for watching see you in next tutorial and if you did like my video if you did like my channel do subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye.